frequently provokes misunderstandings and hostility. He, uh, he appears to be aggressive because his body movements are so sudden and violent. <laughs> <laughs> like a still lick you, Shane. <laughs> oh, Shane, don't. <laughs> Shane. Oh, God. Shane, I'm in bad shape today. I didn't know I'd be talking. Say that all the time. But it, t it tended to split you from everyone. Nobody had sympathy to follow through with any interest in you. There, were, there was always a sense of danger about Shane. Didn't know what direction he was going to start firing from. No, oh, and uh... <laughs> yeah, say that again. <laughs> yeah. He couldn't walk down the street without being attacked by people. He, he couldn't make friendships. He was rejected. Uh, most people thought of him as a freak, and they were either afraid of him or hostile to him. And I was only with him a part of the time, and most of the time he had to live that life on his own. In Paris, Shane encountered bemusement rather than overt hostility. It's very difficult having such a public disorder. Tourette's is visible and audible and tangible to an extreme degree. It bewilders people and they don't know how to respond. In a way, it may be easier to see something as aggressive rather than anything else. When Shane told me that people sometimes turn on him in the street, I could hardly believe this until I spent a day with him. There were three fights in the street started by other people. During the filming, Shane was concerned that the presence of the camera prevented us witnessing the raw danger of these situations. Yes. I mean, if they see a camera on it, it legitimizes it. Do you understand me? Do you understand that? you know why? Because it's an entertainment, strictly entertainment business. Even the news is like fucking entertainment, you know? It's entertainment to see people blown apart. It's like in the eye of the camera, in the eye of the camera, it's like the eye of God. It's like suddenly, it's suddenly whatever you do is transformed. It's uh, important. You know, they think I must be some, like, rock star or something, right? It's like I can do no wrong, almost. As if on cue, a completely chance encounter with a French film crew demonstrated Shane's point perfectly. <laughs> but in spite of the cab we came close to an incident at one point when a park warden challenged us for a filming permit. Um, My father fought in Caen. Mon père a battu à Caen. So, legitimate. Legitimate. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck, you know? Idiot. Idiot. It's a joke. You need authorization. What's she doing? Guard guarding the park? What, the pigeons? La pigeon? La pigeon. Hey, look, is it one of you want to go sit down over there and have a coffee or something? Huh? Want to? She suddenly marched up. She said, oh, no, no, no. Finger raised. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. And I turned around and said, how do you say my father fought in Khan? My father, you want legitimate? I'll give you fucking legitimate. My father fought in this fucking country up in Khan, Khan, right? Can we come in here? Sure. Sure. Come on, let's, let's go. Yes. You. Yeah, come on, we can go. They'll come. They'll follow us. Later. Well, we've got a camera here. Huh? Yeah, I see that. You can't say Shane for Christ's sake. Lay off. Take it easy. You can't do that to Shane. Who might you be? Hey? Where are they? Hey? He's a loose cannon. You never know what can happen when he's around. You know, which direction it's pointing and how soon it's going to pop off. It's, 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 it's a crippling thing, person, socially. And he's bearing up unbelievable. I used to be in a terrible panic about the future. But Shane has been dealing with it. You know, uh, what is second hand? I don't know how I could. I can hardly, hardly deal with it second hand. It's a 
sir. Even when he is alone, Shane is beset by his Tourette's. Sometimes he may spend hours in his apartment, forced to twirl, twitch and tick, just trying to get from the bathroom to the front door. <laughs> My movements, they stand out. You know, they're, they're out of character with the general <laughs> behavior. <laughs> now that's lascivious. <laughs> You appear bad, and just as society likes to um, cover over things, you know, pretty them up, you know, I'm a, you know, cosmetic nuisance. Yeah. What's a blemish? The waterproof. Yeah. That was almost institutionalized. Look, I'm fucking out. I mean, look, there are people's behaviors and, and actions and words, which are, you know, far more uh, irresponsible and dangerous and and uh, obnoxious. Mm. Oh, they're, they're a botanic mm. hat. Felix Botanicus. <laughs> Talking about being aware and acknowledging what you read, a lot of people, they don't even, or are not even aware that they're picking their own noses, you know, or, or that they're eating impolitely or, or, you know, various behaviors, and they don't have Tourette's. Why is it acceptable for a young man to go pissing in the parking lot in public or, you know, and, and, or, display, you know, or, or uh, exposing themselves, right? Exposing themselves and, 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 and fighting, you know, on Friday night, Friday, Saturday night. You know, well, when they get drunk. I mean, it's not acceptable, but it's, it's frowned on, but it's also acceptable. <laughs> uh, listen, let's bring this back to context. You yeah. say it may be okay for, for people to piss in the park on, on weekends. Right. Because this is somehow, there's a special liberty. Yeah, Ex there is, uh, there is extended, uh, extended to Extended, them. right. Um, it's, um, it's, as it were, a form of, uh, of normal behavior. Even a rite of passage. Where's perhaps some of your behaviors are seen as so strange, so, so anarchic, so unorthodox, context, so unintelligible. Uh, uh, people are absolutely stunned. Yeah. Um, they are see they're seeing something they've never seen before. Yeah, it's not they just... Don't, they, they don't know what it's like. I mean, you, 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 you could have movements, you could be twitching for other reasons, you, you know, your suit's too tight or, or you're annoyed or, you know, and there's something that they read in my body movements that, that sets them off. There is something uh, different about my, it's not just ticking, it's something about my movements, even, even when I'm not, like, you know, I, I, no, I, I don't feel I'm ticking, you know, it's just, it's just my movements, it's somehow, uh, sometimes halting gait, is something seen as threatening, you know, this sort of halting. There may be, you know, there may be a sudden advance <laughs> on someone, <laughs> and, um, <laughs> you know, you know, uh, and, um, <laughs> um, but, um, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but uh, I think, um, you know, and a lot of people react defensively. One of the thi <laughs> things is that, is that you make contact. But I don't always make that no, kind no, of contact. No, 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 you don't. Not um, a martial contact. Uh, so no, 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 sure, but, 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 but it may just, it may, you know, it may just be a touching contact, but um, um, touching is rather f in our society. Well, is that true? Look, I want to ask you, look, you know the, the Japanese, right? The Japanese oh. are the most, you know, I think the most territorial people, right? Japan is the worst place in the world right. to it. No. Um, because any violation of, uh, of, uh, of space is, is, is intolerable in this tightly, rigidly organized nation. And um, this was very clear. <laughs> um, um, I partly gauge a society by the way it treats its Tourettes. I mean, um, uh, Lowell originally and now Shane is like a moral litmus. Now, for example, in, in, in Holland, uh, say in, in in Amsterdam, where where understanding and tolerance and humour and good nature are very very strong, it doesn't matter. It's fine to have Tourettes. Um, on the whole, I I know a lot of Dutch Tourettes, and although they are sometimes beleaguered by their own Tourettes, they're not beleaguered by social disapproval and stigma. At the extreme, at the other extreme, is Japan. I, I found this when I went to meet the, the Tokyo Tourettes some years ago. I learned of one mother who had in fact killed her Tourettes child of four and then attempted suicide. So great was the social disapproval. Shane often feels stigmatized by society. By contrast, he is entirely at home with animals. 
particularly with tigers, which don't judge him or react to him the way people do. Stay still. Stay still. Tigers figure frequently in the great passion of Shane's life, his art. If I compare myself to a tiger, I'd say this. I'm misunderstood. The tiger's misunderstood. I have a disorder that's not really understood. You know, there are a few of us. There, are, you know, I mean, there are not a lot of people with Tourette, and and there are not a lot of tigers left. I mean, the t the tiger, the tiger is punished, you know, for just being. It's it's not by its nature um, dangerous to you. I mean, it doesn't spell doom for the human race. One can certainly sense the fellow feeling there in the symbolic way of being an endangered species and captured and persecuted and not allowed its autonomy and its own freedom and law. I think Shane feels very much an, an outsider and is forced into this position by his Tourette's, almost irrespective of his own feelings. One wonders what his own feelings are. I think he does feel very lonely and isolated at times and longs for some sense of contact and belonging. I know when I'm with people with <laughs> with Tourette's, they regard me sometimes. <laughs> I've got you. Oh, have you? OK, enough. At one point, Shane started talking to a tiger. It seemed to respond, and I wondered whether I was witnessing a kind of instinctual bonding. I really think that there's an extraordinary current that can be generated and reciprocated here. I couldn't tell you, you know, the way I see this tiger. You know, I mean, I, I could write that I saw a tiger volcano, but you know, I mean, uh, words, words pale, right? It's not just identification; it's a deep, deep sort of a, an instinctual knowledge of what it's like to be another form of life. It's almost, I think, as if sort of um, primitive, sort of archaic uh, behaviors or memories or, or, or systems in the brain may still somehow be operative, which are sort of closed off in the rest of us. I don't think of primitive as a, as a put down. I mean, it's almost the the reverse. I mean, there's a danger of a sort of of a sort of romantic primitivism. I, I think of it very much in terms of being something sort of strong and archaic and surviving. On horseback, Shane seems almost at peace with himself. It's really liberating here, eh? Liberating. It's as if the animal senses his condition and is able to calm him. I don't want to get off this horse ever. The animals recognize my movement, you know. They'll know if you're nervous, right? They'll, they'll know if you're nervous. There you go. When he's riding, his ticking almost stops. <laughs> 